we're heading to the pawn shop, we're buying some awesome guns, and then at the end, we're gonna let my 147 year old grandma, Mammy, shoot them with me. She's 148 now. Yeah, that's true, she's 148. I don't know guys, let's, let's see what happens. All right, guys, we're about to head into the first pawn shop. This one has the gun that's been here for over a year. So this one, this is, this, this, mm, it's hard to explain, but this may be the coolest gun we pick up today. All right, guys, we are out of that pawn shop. There is the first gun. We're going to head on to Badwoods now. We go to Badwoods all the time. That's where we get probably 95% of our guns. We're going to be allowed to film in there, so that's going to be awesome. And then we also have four guns there. Oh yeah, I know what we got to pick up here. Here we go, boys. This is just a few of them. We got three boxes. We got big. We got small. We got medium size in the back. We're picking up a little bit of everything right here. What up, kid? What'd you say, Chadwick? Not much, buddy. How you been? Happy birthday, late birthday. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you 21 now? Yeah. Uh oh, about to get bad. Kendall's 21. You want to look at your guns? Sure. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Here you go, big E money. We bought about the whole store. Oh, bought Don't about drop the whole, it. Bought about the whole store. <laughs> Something light, nothing heavy. I ain't even carrying all of them. Ethan's got a bag full right there. Guns on guns on guns on guns. Hey, don't drop that landmine. Huh? Hey, don't drop the landmine. Yeah, well, that'd be bad. And there we go. Let's go home. Let's go steal Mammy. Okay, guys, we are now out here in the field, as you can see, at the shooting range, and we have our special guest, Mammy. Hello. Okay, nice. Anyways, here are all the guns that we have scattered on the table. Five of them are brand new. One of them, some of you guys have seen before. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're about to find out. Now, Mammy, if you don't know, which you probably don't, because we just went and got you, I went and picked up five guns today. Five guns today. Yep, this is America. Yes. What are you going to do with five guns? Guess what? What? I'm going to shoot them. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. We're gonna go one by one. Y'all don't know which order we're going in, but we're gonna start off with this one. It is the smallest one. There it is, my boy. A single shot. What's this even called, dude? Cricket? Cricket CPR. Caterpillar. Single shot 22 Caterpillar. Basically. Dude, look at that thing. That thing's mean. We got a... Ooh! <laughs> Where's the safety at? It ain't got one. Oh, you gotta cock it every time. Oh, that thing's mean, dude. Check this out. You can unscrew this, raise it up, depending on where your cheek goes. I'm thinking, look at the muzzle brake on that thing. As if it's gonna kick. Also comes with its tiny little bipod. There we go, we got the nice, real nice bipod now. Stabilized shooting. Next, but definitely not least, we have a scope. Specifically for 35 yards. Oh man, dude, they gave us ear protection and eye protection. That's kind of cool. We think about it. I don't know what to think. He's got a, lots of guns. That's a big one right there, isn't it? Yes. Guys, we need a name for it. Go ahead and comment a name down in the description. What do we name this gun? Because I can promise this will not be the last time you see this thing. Do you want to shoot this one? No. Yeah, you are. You got to shoot this one. No. It's just a 22. She's shooting it. Don't let her Don't let her tell you lies. All right, there we go. Scope should be mounted up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, let's add the sunshade. It's like plus five tactical points. <laughs> Check that out. We're getting ready for some long-range shooting, son. If you don't know what a sunshade is, it kind of stops glare if you're shooting in the direction of the sun. That is our finished product, dude. That's pretty sick. I like it. Let's load this bad boy up. It is a 22 long rifle. Absolute beast of a unit. Mammy, you need ear protection. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to put these on over top of your hearing aids, so... I don't know. Take your hearing aids out. Well, then I can't hear. Well, then maybe that's a good thing. We'll put these in just in case. There we go. It's not sided in, so if I miss, it ain't my fault. Basically, with this one, it's a single shot, so you have to put one in at a time, manually, like, close it up, and then to cock it, you have to go ahead and pull this back. Are you ready? Yeah. And then you got to do that literally every time you want to shoot it. I don't even know where it's hitting. I don't either. Are you hitting it? No. No. Not at all. But it does look cool, and that's all that really matters. How's the trigger on it? Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all we got for this thing. I bought this thing mainly for a video. It's coming in the future, but now let's move on to the next thing. Where'd you get it at? Pawn shop, Bad Woods. You know where that's at? Huh? You know where that's at? What? Bad Woods. 
You do? Do you know where Bad Woods is? No. Okay. Anyways, the next thing I think we're going to move on to is this. But you may or may not have already saw this. This is a Bear Creek Armory side charging, but what I bought actually goes on the bottom of it. It is this right here, a Palmetto Lower. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but at the end of the day, this is an AR pistol lower, and I got it really cheap, so I kind of had to buy it. Otherwise, I'd be losing money if I didn't buy it. So there it is, complete. With a pistol upper and a pistol lower, making this completely legal. If you put a pistol upper on a rifle lower, you're going to jail, son. Now, this one also probably isn't sighted in, but I don't know, I think we can do some pretty fun with it. Shoot no tool ammo, because it's cheap. The only thing I can find right now. This is an AR-15, mammy. Do you have any brothers or anything that went to Korea? Do what? Do you have any brothers or anything that fought in Vietnam? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Where did your brothers fight at? In Korea. Nice. This one's going to be pretty loud, so we're definitely going to need air protection for this. All right, here we go. Side charging. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. All right, there's one jam. It's actually kind of sighted in naturally, or it's close enough to hit the target. And we will give this last one to Mammy. All right, Mammy, you ready? I ain't going to shoot that thing. Yeah, you are. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-uh. All right, ready? Just pull the trigger. All right, maybe that was a good thing, because it's probably going to hit you in the face when it came out. Take your finger off the trigger, right there. All right. Whoa, all right, go. Mammy out here busting, busting with AR-15s. How did that feel, Mammy? It just felt funny. Did it feel American? Can I sit down? Sure. Are you the most American grandma that ever walked these American grounds? Now. Huh? What did you say? For the next gun in the video, we have a couple different options, but I think we're actually going to go with this one now i don't have a ton of ammo for this one but this is a really cool gun especially if you play call of duty or warzone or anything like that in this box we have an m14 check that out now this gun i really like it check that out this is what they used in vietnam you can see it's got the wood and everything m14 got the old m1 garand style thing right here but unlike the m1 garand it's been changed to where it actually takes a mag stick it in rock it in just like that and now you got 20 rounds of 308 now if there's some gun nuts out there you'll be like kg that's not an m14 and that's because technically you are right this is technically an m1a which is the civilian version of an m14 but what makes this one special is that a lot of the parts and the stock is from an m14 and you can tell that by looking at it it's got the official stamps on it all that stuff right down here has a p and then even over here if you know a lot about m14s you'll know that that cutout that's not been cracked or anything that was the cutout for the full auto selector switch but since this one is not full auto they just kind of put wood glue or something in there i'm not really sure but yeah everything about this except for the receiver and Maybe the barrel and stuff are as close to an M14 as you can actually get. But without further ado, let's load this thing up and get going. We don't have a ton of ammo, and uh, Bob, we don't have a ton. I mean, we, we have five, but we're going to make it work, and I think we'll be all right. There we go. You reckon there's been a lot of men killed with this? Maybe there's a really good chance, honestly, especially with the stock, because the stock, there's an extremely high chance it was indeed used in the Vietnam War. Because nah. the stock is straight up ready to go, and you can see that it's been used. Yeah. Because you can see all the scratches and little dents and stuff. All those little dents have a story. That's what I like about guns like this. I'm not really super into, like, just shooting them to have a ton of fun. These older guns, at least. I like them because of the story that they could tell. So, honestly, maybe if I had to make a guess, there's a pretty good chance. What do you think, Ethan? I think so. Yeah. Especially the stock. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I say it was used in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. You ready to shoot it? No. All right. I'll shoot this one. Here pro goes on. This thing's going to be loud. They said that, you know, since this used to be full auto, they really quit making them full auto and kind of like ditched the design. 
because this gun in full auto with its fire rate was apparently extremely uncontrollable. But in a yep. semi-auto is fine, so that's what this one's gonna be. We'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I like this a lot. I like this. I have an M1 Garand that you guys have actually never saw before, and I've also actually never shot it. And to be honest, I don't even have plans to shoot it. I just want to keep it to look at it. But this thing is its predecessor, which means this is pretty much an upgraded M1 Garand. But anyways, here we go. We'll see if these sights are still on. And they are. One thing I really like about this one is its safety. The safety is inside the trigger well. So like to knock the safety off, you just put your finger in, push forward. And then now, right now it's on safety. Here you That's go, Ethan, awful. you got two shots to shoot out of it. All right. Dude, that brake does work. It does. Cause I can feel it back here. That thing caught my finger going forward though. Yeah, 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 you gotta look at that. This thing's cool, I like that. Now let's get back under the shade tent cause I'm already sweating. What'd you think about seeing it shot, mammy? Huh? What'd you think about seeing it shot? I just want, don't know. What do you mean? What to think about it. It's crazy, ain't it? Huh? It's crazy, ain't it? Now we are gonna move on to the next gun. We're not gonna show you the one that took two years for me to get just yet. We're gonna save that one till towards the end. But the next one came straight from Bad Woods and they actually have some in stock. It is a Glock 19, but not just any Glock 19. This is a Glock 19 Gen 5. Glock 19X, which means it is tan. The whole thing is tan. Like this is one of the guns that the army had to choose from to choose their next service pistol. Unfortunately, it got beat out. So yeah, the army doesn't use this, but it almost did. It takes nine millimeter. It's similar to a Glock 19, except it's all tan. Has some military standard requirements that they wanted and has a quite a bit longer handle. That's a 17 handle. Yeah, with a 19 slide kind of but yeah it is nine millimeters so let's go ahead and see what we can do i can probably hit some from here not a ton but i can definitely hit some nine millimeter straight gold kind of hard to find but badwoods luckily also had that for us so that's awesome you didn't tell them this was like bronze i didn't know that until today neither one of us did this is like tan polymer but that's actually like a bronze see it's kind of shiny can they see that yeah, they can see a difference. It's shiny. I didn't think it's shiny. It still looks cool, though. I like it even more. I'll load me about 10 in. I don't want to shoot too much. It may go broke. Let me say this. The reason I'm only wanting to shoot a couple of them is not because we don't have the ammo because we actually started up our members on the channel. And with you guys that are members, you guys are seriously helping us do stuff like get this ammo because it's hard to find and because of that, it can be a little expensive. But the reason I don't want to shoot a ton with this is because that other gun may or may not be 9 millimeter and it may or may not be a lot funner to shoot. Just saying. I'll put 15 in this and then sling some. It only holds 17 or something. Are you ready? Let's see it. Check that. That thing looks cool, don't it? It does. Now let me try to hit something. Well, that didn't take long, did it? That's all she got. No, it ain't. That's all she got. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me load up one more mag and let's get really close. I want to see what I can actually do. What'd you think about that, Mammy? That was a really shooting. What? That was the really shooting. Mm-hmm. I think you'll really like that next gun. We're going to get you to shoot it. I would let you shoot the Glock 19X, but I don't want you to drop it and then grab it on the way down and shoot everybody's feet. Uh -huh. It wouldn't be no good if he shot us with it. <laughs> no. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna try to hit stuff. All right, I hit, I hit, I hit a few of them. Let's go get that other one. We've had a lot of anticipation for that one. Oh yeah. Two years worth. It's time. Mammy, what's your expectations about what this last gun is in this box? A V2 rocket. No, we don't have a V2 rocket, but it is pretty close. We have a Chris Vector. This thing is awesome. Now this exact Chris Vector is a pistol version, which is why I had to wait until I was 21 to pick it up. It is chambered in nine millimeter and has this folding stock so that if I want to, I can make it shorter. Maybe, I don't know, whatever I'd want to do. But yeah, it comes up with these cool flip up iron sights. If you guys know, me and Mammy actually got a Chris Vector in 45 ACP and it was white. That's the video where Mammy almost killed me. You remember that? Yes.
Yep, yep, bad times, bad times. But this is what we have to work with. And of course we have an extendo, because if we didn't have an extendo, what would we be doing? Let's go shoot it. No guarantees I'm gonna hit anything, but I can promise I am gonna look cool trying. Maybe. Yes. Yes. That's the one you had to wait till you was 21 to get. What? That's the one you had to wait till you turned 21. Yeah, I don't see why they don't let anybody buy it, don't you? I don't either. I think they should let a preschool buy something like that. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. I had to wait two years. Two years to it's, pick it up. It's not like it can do anything dangerous, can it? No. We're not done shooting this one, mainly because uh, I didn't... Uh, hit anything with it. I'd like to see, you know, if I can actually do that. But here's something that I've not actually told Mammy. And we're just gonna hope that uh, All the guns, I like the 22 the best. Did you shoot it? Yeah. You did? The 22. You shot that? I think I did. I don't think you did. Mm-mm, you definitely didn't. What did I shoot? The AR. Oh. <laughs> you shot the Afghanistan 4000. Oh. Did you like that? Yeah. But back to what I was saying, we're gonna hope that she don't have her hearing aids yet, which I can hear them ringing, so she probably don't. We brought the big gun, and some of y'all know what that is, but Mammy's gonna shoot it today. It rhymes with Mammy. It is. Her name's Tammy. Introducing Tammy. So we all know your name's Mammy. Mm hmm But have you ever seen Tammy? Do what? Exactly. This is a world heavyweight champion right here. If you guys do not know, Tammy is a 50 caliber sniper rifle. It's not an anti-armor rifle. It's literally a precision sniper rifle. One of a kind. Kinda. Not really. Weighing in at about 50 pounds. Mammy, you ready to shoot it? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. You can do it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Amy, you gotta do it for the people. You gotta shoot Tammy once. Uh, I like shooting it. It ain't bad. No, it ain't bad at all. It's just that. A lot. That's smaller than a twenty two. Don't it shot. I don't couldn't get up there. Nah, we'll fix you up, don't worry. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Side note, side note. All right, so I've told this idea to a lot of people and everyone said it was a bad idea. They were like, you know, dude, it might break her arm. Listen, dude, she's like 147. Something's gotta break sometime. Why not now? All right, you ready? Put her the pull noodle on there. Are you ready to shoot? Yeah. The 50 caliber. Huh? Huh? All right, here you go, Mammy. All right, Mammy, you ready? Here we go. All right, Mammy, come on up. I'm gonna bring it on back to you. Put your shoulder right here. All right. Lean up against it. Ready? Yeah. Fire when ready. All right, guys, now we're actually gonna let Mammy shoot the 50 cal, but it's not exactly gonna be that way, okay? We're gonna do it the same way that you killed your deer. So I'm gonna hold it, and you're gonna pull the trigger. Sound good? My shoulder insurance is indeed going on the gun. Don't pull the trigger until I tell you. Pull it when ready. What'd you think about that? Sure. That shocked. Yeah. <laughs> that literally felt like someone just punched me in the face. <laughs> it probably did. What'd you think about that, Mammy? You just shot the 50 cal. That shocked. There's a lot of grown men who haven't shot a 50 cal. Yeah. How free did that make you feel? It makes me feel like I'm young again. That's right. Does it make you want to join the military? Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you be a sniper or what? Uh, I wouldn't want to be a sniper. What would you want to be if you was in the army? I want to be a good person. Which is? Not hurt anyone. So you'd want to be a medic? Yeah. Mamie, that's what you just shot. <laughs> that thing's bigger than your head. I know it. That's a way of pound or more. Not anymore, but... They shoot these into cars to make them stop running. Huh. And you just shot one. <laughs> All right, Ethan, tell them what we're doing now. Got this old iPhone down there, pulled it out of my car. Uh, I was like, let's destroy it with a 50 cal. So, 
Yeah. Now we're destroying it with a 50 cal. Yes. Take your position. 50 cal versus iPhone. Four. That's a five. The iPhone is indeed gone. Let's go see what we did. What are your predictions, Mammy? Do you think the iPhone's still intact? I didn't understand you. That's what I'm thinking too. Do you think that the iPhone will be within its extended warranty? I think so. Yeah, me too. Let's go check it out. We'll take that sap circuit back to Best Buy, son. Oh, here it is. Really? Here's a screen of it. Oh, it? yeah. Oh, here's part of it. Oh, man. Dude. Did you even hit it? Yeah. Oh, you, you grazed it. Where's the battery? Gone. Probably up there smoking, starting a forest fire or something. You grazed the edge of this old iPhone 5G S, X, Y, G plus. All I gotta say is somebody wants this, hit me up and I'll get Kindle to sign it for you and you can have an iPhone that's we'll been shot with a 50. We'll sell it to you for parts. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh -uh. Saying I did graze it. Yeah, like you could still use that and call people. Yeah. You can, that's, 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 that's Wi-Fi. Dude, it actually is really comfortable to hold like this. See if you can turn it off and turn it back on. I mean, you can't turn the volume down, but power, volume up, the home button. Wait, I think someone's calling you. What's up? I didn't understand Yeah, this phone's great. It just got hit by 50 cal. See if they got any ammo. Got any ammo? Huh? Figures. You shoot the iPhone? Yeah. I suck to you. How much you want to pay for it, Mammy? You want to buy it? No. You can watch my videos on there. Or Braden Prices. There's a small dent in the side of it. Yeah. I don't know what happened. But there's also a cracked screen. But other than that, it works really good. And it's still under warranty. Yeah. They should give us a refund, shouldn't they? Yep. Don't pick those up, Mamie. They're hot. That's hot enough to burn. It's almost like I just said that. Now, since this video is kind of about my 21st birthday, which is kind of a special thing, I don't just want to make this just a straight up fun video. I want to actually give you guys something you can take away from this. And so a couple days ago, I actually heard this quote and I actually kind of liked it. It said, bad company corrupts good character. And I was like, you know what, thinking about it, that's actually pretty true. Which, you know, makes a lot of sense because you've probably heard people say that, you know, someone is the average of their five closest friends or if you don't know somebody, take a look at their five closest friends and that's probably what they're going to be like. And you know, that's just so true. And then like a couple days later, I found out that that's actually a Bible verse and it's out of 1 Corinthians 15 33. Right here's the exact one. So if there's any advice I could give to maybe some of you guys who are younger, it'd be think about who your friends are because like the verse said, bad company can corrupt good character. So now of course, nobody He's perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Your friends won't be perfect. But if you have friends that do bad things and they know they're bad, but then they just keep doing them, that's probably not a good thing, my dude. And if those friends continue to act like that and you continue to stay with them, like the verse said, there's a good chance some things could go wrong. Now, I'm not trying to be preacher or anything. I'm just trying to give you guys a quick tip just in case you may not be realizing it right now. Just think about that and just think about it. That's all I want you to do. Think about it and then you can do what you want to with it. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching my birthday video. Click right over here if you want to see the time Mammy almost killed me. Yeah. Or right over here for all my gun-related playlists. And tell me what you think about that verse in the comments, because honestly, I think it's pretty spot on. But you tell me, I'm going to be reading.